everybody. It's Andrea. I'm back again. Um, hi. Um, I've got it kind of focused on my tile here. Um, I don't know if this is a style that's already out there, but what I'm doing today, I've kind of nicknamed the drizzle effect because it kind of reminds me like you're drizzling icing over top of a um, cupcake and a cake and stuff. So I'm starting out with my base, which is just house paint. Um, I should have probably wiped this down a little bit because it's got a bunch of paint already on it. This is just a cake turner that I got off Amazon. I'm going to spin that a little bit just to get it to go around the tile. I don't typically worry about the edges because it will go over it. I spread it the rest of the way. I'm gonna torch it. Torch I picked up over at Rural King just to get a little bit of the um, air bubbles out. And then what I do, like I said, it's the drizzle effect. Um, my paints are all in my bottles. I'm pretty sure, let me see, I got my camera set up backwards. Whoop. That you guys can see it's really close. Little bottles here. I want to give you a good view of the um, tile. Uh, they're typically from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, or Michaels, mixed um, basically one-to-one-ish with Floetrol and a little bit of water to give them typically the same consistency. So what I do is I literally just drizzle across. This is a copper. And then I have a little bit of gold glitter. Pretty sure you can read that. Yeah, gold glitter. I try to label them. This one is metallic copper, the first one I used. And then just take it across, drizzle again. Um, this is a glow-in-the-dark purple. Just that way it has a little bit. And I once again, like I said, I just drizzle it. Doesn't matter how much you use. And then this is um, electric plum. It's an iridescent, so it'll kind of change colors in the light. And then drizzle. And then, because I'm doing this in my kitchen, I'm going to put a towel over top of this side of me, so that way when I do a spin, it hits more of the towel than it does the floor and everything. And then slow it down, and it just kind of spreads everything a little bit. And then I have these flakes, like um, like gold flakes, but these are purple. And I take them, grab just a few pieces, and then just wherever they might happen to fall. is where they go. And they land. And I will, whoops, that was a big chunk. I don't want that big of a chunk. This one I did with the white background. The ones I've done previously were black backgrounds. I'll go get one and show you guys here in a second. Let me Oops, that was a big chunk. I don't have any that I've um, resined yet. So then it kind of looks like that which you can see, I will dip my hand in paint. But I'm going to just kind of like tip this up and show you. And give me a second, I will go get one of the ones that have dried and show you those. Here's one on a black base. 
that I did that dried. And this has got a red iridescent. As you can see, it switches colors with the gold. I did this one a couple days ago, so I've got a couple more weeks for it to dry. And then I will resin it. But I think that looks so cool. I mean, so the colors will go down and everything because these were thick like that, but they'll sink into the, the paint, the base a little bit. And sorry, I think that is so cool. I kind of nicknamed it the drizzle effect. I don't know if anybody else has got it, but you can see there's like the, the glitter in there just coming out. That's got um, gold, it's got a glow in the dark, and then it's got the iridescent in there, which I think is just so cool. All right, well, thank you guys for tuning in. Sorry it's been so long, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye.